So again, I think that this could be a issue for Baker Mayfield. Maybe that's why he was biting his nails on the sideline. I don't know. R <laughs> RC, what do you think? <laughs> I think that ship has already sailed on paying Baker that type of money. I think Baker will get paid. I think Baker has shown that he's a franchise quarterback. But what the Cleveland Browns showed you last night is that they are a running football team. And I think sometimes they even need to be reminded of it that even when Baker Mayfield comes back, this is who they are. Now, the smartest thing that Kevin Stefanski and his team did was sit Baker last night, right? Try to not try to make Baker play through this injury because as Baker has been playing through this injury, he's been a bottom third quarterback and not a bottom third quarterback in the sense that they can still win with him but a bottom third quarterback that they are winning in spite of Baker Mayfield in the games they actually win now I'm not as bullish on Case Keenum as Rob Nikovich is because I also realize that the Denver Broncos have only beat the Jaguars the Giants and the Jets you know we can grab Greeny and we can get you know uh, we can get Fink and we can get Alley and we can go get Zach these are all people that <laughs> produce the show and we would have an opportunity against those teams and so I'm not saying that Denver was gangbusters, but last night Case Keenum did what he had, had to do, and that's the reason he's the backup. He found a way to win the game. Baker Mayfield is the starting quarterback of this team. They just have to remember that Baker Mayfield isn't the reason that they win and play football that way. Now, RC, you're selling Fink short. He runs a 4-3, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, Graziano, <laughs> that's an inside joke. The whole staff is laughing, I promise you. Uh, Graziano, let me come to you on, on, on this thought here because the baker of it all is fascinating, and he's talking about a fracture in the shoulder and all the rest of that and how it plays into the contract. There's a lot there. Yeah, and look, it sounds like based on what he told Fox Sports before the game last night that he could be out longer than just the one game. A lot to figure out with that shoulder injury. I, I think Nico's point is an interesting one. I'm just not sure that, that, that this game necessarily matters. That It's not like Keenum played so well that they would think about starting him right. over a healthy Baker Mayfield. Uh, he did win a game against a Denver team that employs the questionable defensive tactic of never tackling anyone, which I don't know if that's going to hold up over a whole season. But I think that the, the key point to understand on Baker in the contract is the Browns like him. They want him around. They would sign him long term, but there's a number that I don't think they're going to go over. And so far, it's not a number yeah, that he has liked. That. And if he doesn't get there, then they might have to look at other options. All right. So there are there are considerations here, big picture and small. That's the big. Let's go to the small, Sacho. This is a team that came into this season and thinking Super Bowl thoughts. They have been decimated, but a win is a win, regardless of who you play on a Thursday night with all those injuries. Is this a Browns team that, as it gets healthy again, that can still achieve the goals that it had at the beginning of the year? Yeah, absolutely. They absolutely can, and the reason why is what we saw last night. Decimated team by injuries. A team without your starting quarterback, yet you still find a way to win the game with your backup. Why? You have rebuilt this team. Back in 2017 or 16 or so, I remember playing against the Browns. They had a bad offensive line. A bad team in general. Now the team has been rebuilt. You have J.C. Treader out offensive line at center leading the charge. So no matter if you have Kareem Hunt who wasn't there or, or Nick Chubb who wasn't there, you have someone else who steps in, right? To our joke, Fink could go back there and run and get 100 and some, maybe not 100, 50 yards behind that offensive line. And so that's the difference. It's offensive line play number one. Number two, it's the defense, right? Denver couldn't do anything. They didn't get a first down in the first half. And so that's what's the difference between this team. They found a way to win even without their key play RC, same question. Is this a, Bra a Browns team as it gets healthy? No, no, no. no. The, the no. division is tough, no. too. Go ahead, Ryan. No, listen, and, and – we talked about the roster on Monday, and Dan mentioned that it was a 6-0 and roster that was playing 3-3 three and -three football. Well, they're playing 3-3 three and -three football because they're a 3-3 three -three football team. Right now, they're above 500 because you go out and you win this game against the Denver Broncos, but the way that this team plays defensively is too inconsistent. Also, when we watch this team, they do have to dominate in the way we saw them dominate against Minnesota, dominate against Chicago defensively, dominate against Denver in the first half. This offense and this defense, they aren't playing complementary football to to the point where you believe in them when you're talking about teams like the Buffalo Bills, talking about teams like the Baltimore Ravens, the Los Angeles Chargers, and I think in to, to an extent, the Kansas City Chiefs because they still have Patrick Mahomes. The thing that happens to the Cleveland Browns is at some point, they're going to need a great equalizer, and that can be the run game, but we all know it has to come from under center, and the Cleveland Browns do not have that. Go ahead, Grass. It's an interesting point about how they have to dominate, right? They need to get on top of it. They won the coin toss last night and took the the ball. Yeah. You always see the coach the defer ball. to the second mm -hmm. half. Right. They took the ball. They wanted to score first, and that matters to Cleveland the way they play.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.